go to YouTube now. It says it's sending. Hey guys, we're just back. So on Facebook, just let's get it sharing. Let's get it up again. YouTube showing now. Hey. YouTube showing now. Have you deleted the other ones? No, I haven't done that yet. I'm just getting this logged in. Okay, we're back. Seems stable. Okay, guys, let's just see if we can get viewers back. I didn't want to come back because I know this affects the viewers, but... Yeah. <sighs> so, it's our internet system that... The company that we are with, for me, really, is just... Well, every internet provider I think in South Africa is useless yeah I won't mention names I'm just saying everyone <laughs> but also I think the infrastructure is really getting messed up no it is just in the house it's not outside but because why did the signal come back now it's the well, thing here well I mean if something f cuts outside and then doesn't refresh this side there's a lot of factors I think I think the internet in the country is being messed up I mean, we have issues in Krugersdorp. But it's the same company. Not Krugersdorp. Hey? Can Krugersdorp is a different country. Oh, a I company. New links. Sorry? Yeah, we're going to send you broadcast links. Okay, we need to send links. So guys, thank you on YouTube. Just press for us the like button, the thumbs up button. Sorry about that. We had an unfortunate just cutting off. Um, so we don't only have load shedding in South Africa, we also have service delivery problems. Massive service delivery problems. Yeah. In fact, there's no service delivery. Um, Everyone in South Africa is complaining about internet. Sometimes you can wait for months just for internet to be installed at your place. Yeah. We're moving our if you, offices. If you don't have fiber lines, like you, you... We're moving our offices and it's a joke. I gave them... It's supposed to be two to three weeks to move. They have fiber in the complex. But I gave them. It's it's going on six weeks now. Yeah. And uh, I don't have in, I don't have a date. When when I moved into my house as well, it was the same. I I begged the people on the phone, just give me the logins. I can set it up myself. They refused. Yeah. So Liz, I'm seeing your comment again. Did you hear what we said earlier about the cost? Or was it cut already? It might have been cut. You know. Yeah, it might have been cut. Um. Um, I think you said a thousand dollars roughly. So for I said, flights. I said, you, you know, if you really want to get a cheap flight, then you're gonna have like you're gonna fly to like Germany and London and all these places. And yeah, you with know, this layovers and a lay, or maybe have two layovers, then you can get away with thousand dollars even, even a bit cheaper. Yeah. But you know, otherwise, just under two thousand dollars, you can maybe get one layover. Yeah, I think. Is it the same both ways? Yeah. Well, that's so. Is it same if you convert it both ways, like to from here to there? Yeah, roughly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I found this on the web. Okay, so sorry. I think um, maybe just over 2,000. It really depends. It, look, obviously carbon tax and all this stuff has really just gone out, gone really out of control. So since 2020, all the travel costs have gone has up. tripled. Yeah. For us just to fly to Cape Town is what it used to cost to go to London almost. Yeah, yeah no, literally. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, you can fly to London. Really? No, I promise you. <laughs> I, I just bought tickets to Cape Town now. It's expensive. No, I know. Flash. Cape I have to go to my second, 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 second home. I mean, uh, <laughs> uh, no, I want Cape Town to be my second home. But Se a lot of people in South Africa do it, by the way. But uh, we can't really. I can't. Bec the reason I would have considered it, but the reason I can't is because we work on weekends. Yeah. 
So yep. a lot of people would be weekends there and then yeah, yeah, come yeah. the week here. Yeah, yeah. I would have I would have done that. But it's like Florida and if you're in the United States, like Florida and other states. Some people stay in Florida and then work Travel. in some other states yeah. or summers in Florida, winters in Florida, so on. So Cape Town is kind of like similar, but um, because I work on weekends, I cannot do it. So I have to stay in, stay in Gauteng. <laughs> Because so, you know our kids is in school in the week, and I'm working in the weeks, and we can don't 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 think I'm only working weekends. We work in the week and the weekends. That's why we're sitting here tonight. But I mean, this can be done from any location, obviously. That's what Ross believes. Ross believes that we only work on Sundays as pastors. <laughs> yeah, but Ross doesn't work at all. Yeah, he, that's true. <laughs> Ross, Ross is a bum. He plays PlayStation. Ross hasn't worked for nine months. <laughs> he's 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 pregnant with no work. <laughs> Liz is saying she wants to come. Let's come. Let's come, but I would advise you to come over conference time. Definitely. Really. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, our offices will do, you know, assist with all the accommodation and so on, but we have a lot of international people come in conferences. Conferences is wild. And, um, yeah, conferences is wild. That's a true representation of our church. Guys, again on YouTube, I want to ask you a favor, please. Uh, if you can click the thumbs up button and the likes button, what it does, it just pushes it out to a bit of more of our actual subscribers also. So just press the thumbs up button for me, everybody on YouTube. I know we won't get the same numbers. We were close to a thousand people. Yes, yeah. If not almost more. I saw, um, I think Cheryl on Facebook is saying can't find it on YouTube, but it is on YouTube. If you just search Leon de Prea on YouTube, you'll can't find, find it. Can't find it on YouTube, you but, see. But there's people on YouTube that is commenting, so No, 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 it is on YouTube, but I wonder if YouTube doesn't hide it now more, than Well, there's because 148 watching now, it's climbing. Yeah, YouTube is definitely So, yeah, so let's visible. get onto it, guys. I want us to get into the books, but just before we get into that, let me just see what people are saying. So, Liz, I would say come on a come on a uh, over a conference time just Definitely. because that's really you can really get a lot in then yeah you know well, that's what a lot of people who have flown in from overseas have, have done they come over a conference yeah When is conference? Cheryl's saying you're not on YouTube. No, Cheryl, we are. No, we're definitely on YouTube. <laughs> we have 149 people <laughs> on the connections on there right now on that side. Uh, we're definitely on there. Definitely on YouTube. It might be that your YouTube isn't refreshed or something like that on our channel or it still shows the, without the live. A lot of people life. are asking when is the next conference? In June. Um, it will be in June. Yeah, I think it's in June. The first two weeks of June, we'll have Centurion and Krugersdorp. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe just before, I think, uh, I don't know, let me just I check. can check, I have it, yeah. Yeah, it's the first week of June. Yeah, it's the first week of June. I can check so long. Someone's um, asking, do you like the Catholic Church? What does that do mean? Do I like the Catholic Church? What does that have <laughs> to do with on anything? They talk about the angelic realms. Okay, now someone's going off on a different tangent. Yeah, first week of June, Centurion Conference. First weekend, the fourth. And then the week there off the Kruger's Dorp. So one, if the, a lot of people come in and they come in for like 10 days and they catch yeah, both. Yeah, catch both conferences. That's, that's exactly what the best would be. But you can get all that information from our offices and they'll assist. When is the next conference in the USA? RNT um, 95. Um, I'm doing a date in USA now in May, which will be confirmed soon. Uh, and then after that, I think only the end of the year for the USA. I'm not taking... I'm not taking so much USA. I got some invitations and so on. And obviously I can push my ministry, but that's not what God has called me to for now. Yes. Uh, God has called me for to build on this side and I take three or four invites and that's about it. Um, everyone's uh, everyone's asking, your, so okay, the Cape Town, people are asking for the Cape Town dates. The Cape Town dates will be the week after Krugersdorp. But I'm not doing Cape Town. Yes, but it's still, that's when they'll have the conference. That's when they will have it. So, yeah, but yeah. if they ask if I'm doing it, I'm not doing Cape Town now in yeah. Pentecost. Um, I'll consider doing Cape Town in, um, our October conference, November conference, November when it'll be in November, but that'll only be on 
was the Stefan's discretion, meaning if 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 he invites me. Yes. Obviously it falls on the encounter, but we still have an agreement, meaning it's it's his church, you know. Yes. So so um uh, Uh, Liz is saying I can't just soon. crash. He has to, <laughs> he has to invite me. Liz. But I'm not there for the May one, as far as I know. June, Unless June. he pays me like so much money. <laughs> <laughs> then, then, but no, no, you know, I'm not there for for May um, or June. I'm June. I'm Liz, Liz June. is saying um, that's too soon. There's also another con. There'll be another conference there'll later in the year. Another one in November, uh, October, November. Yes. Yeah, we have three, four every year. Yeah. yeah. So the, the the one after that list is about October November. We have our deliverance conference as well, which is usually We um, need to in start September. Up, um, like accommodation packages. With I was bar. asking that already for a while. I asked the guys to put the hotel names yeah. and accommodation on the website. Um, There's a lot of people that we travel. can we can do that. Jordan yeah, is yeah, asking as well. The next one lasted a lot. Um, what about Europe? Someone was asking so about the UK just as well. I'm tired because I'm tired. Sorry? Someone was asking about the UK, if you're going to the UK as well. I am. I have a date in Europe. the UK. And, um, you know, uh, I'm just busy sorting out our visa. And um, I actually forgot to send the information through to where I'm going to. So I need to do that tomorrow. And uh, it's a dear friend of ours that actually follows me on here that we're going to be doing something together. And uh, I don't want to reveal the information, obviously, yet but uh, i need to sort out our visa because i forgot i didn't have a visa because uk only gives you like 12 months or something six months six months yeah and i need to go twice to uk this year i think yes yeah, so it overlaps a bit so i need to you know jordan is saying please sure come force with amsterdam people are asking There's you're two people, two people are asking amsterdam. for amsterdam i isn't isn't daniel adams there now I think I did see him I there. I saw him doing a Europe tour. He I'm was sure in Europe. I'm not sure Amsterdam. if it was Amsterdam. Let me check that. Why do I see him in Amsterdam? Let me see if he's doing Amsterdam. Then, uh, because I saw him posting something. Also, please, India, Hawaii, Vegas. Jeez, like, <laughs> you <laughs> can have to do a world tour. Netherlands. He's in Netherlands. Which is, Netherlands which is, Am- it's Holland, so. Yeah, he's in Netherlands. It, but Amsterdam where in the Netherlands? Because Amsterdam's Holland, Almir. Another person saying Amsterdam. Al- Holland, Almir. Well, that's just, I'm just saying that's my friend. Amsterdam, Daniel. Amsterdam. Sheesh. We've got a lot um, of people from Amsterdam. I wonder if I'm not doing something. No, 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 no. I'm not doing something with him in him on that side. Come back to Georgia. Zealand. Come to Australia too and New Zealand. I'd love to do something in Europe side, apart from the UK. In Europe, because that's interesting. Sheesh. These people need to join the online church. But we have a big, large online church, guys. So um, Lloyd is sitting here, that's running it, and we're going to be launching it. Obviously, much bigger. We've already launched it. We got. We got home sales and online. We got certain hubs that we're running and so on. Uh, that is called our encounter hubs, and um, you know. Then we obviously we have home sa- online home sales. We got an online discipleship, online structure, everything, uh, online membership going through. It's like as if it's a, a normal church, but it's online. It's amazing. Uh, but we're just launching it a bit bigger end of April. Sheesh, there's a lot of people from different places. We've got Sweden, s- Buffalo, New York, California. California. But you see, the, the international people sit on YouTube, eh? Yeah. Not on Facebook. Well, YouTube is the best no, experience. actually, I have a lot of... Well, usually when I go on watch. Facebook, it's just it's just international people. No. Yeah. Um, uh, well, I don't know. South Africans didn't used to come up on Facebook, but it looks like it changed now a bit again. Maybe it was... Someone is asking how to join a home cell. One of our moderators will help you on, on YouTube. So online, we do have home cells. One of our moderators is going to answer you right now. And um, where is this church? We have lots of campuses. I love your accents. We hate our accents. <laughs> I don't mind my accent. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't like it that much. Mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to put a link on YouTube for those who want to join the, the online groups. A few from all these countries we just saw. Oh, they're going to put on a link for the online groups, guys, where you can join right now. Aman, thank you so much. Are I you like in South Dakota? We'll be back in church in November. Oh, so are you in South Dakota? Wow. Nice. 
that that's also true what um uh, someone's saying on YouTube, I like YouTube because I can hear you even if my phone screen is locked. Can't do that yeah, on Facebook. Course, that's the best. So if you have YouTube Premium, you can do that. That's and obviously the best with YouTube. So much better. Even with your broadcast, I, when you go live on YouTube, I watch you on YouTube because of that. Yeah. Because then I can work and carry on. So, yes. Again, tonight is long form. It's not preaching. And we will have preaching sessions. Also, again, guys, um, um, <laughs> So we'll have a balance of both preaching and long form. But I want us to touch on books that changed your life. Books that changed your life. I want you to put in the comments, books that changed your life. Don't think too Christianese right now. Because we're going to have both. Balance, yeah. We'll discuss some books that are in... Um, secular books. Secular books. And Christian books, because both of them really, uh, if uh, like I'll, I'll mention or speak about maybe ten or twelve books that I can immediately think that affected me when I read it. Yes, like it really affected me when I read it. Like it shifted a mindset yeah. or it changed something. Um, and I'll speak on both Christian and normal books. I believe it's good to read normal books. Um, yeah. Who moved my cheese? I heard about that. That's a very good it. book. I've got that book by um, uh, Daniel Pink. That's an old one. That's a. V that's one of the first books that very I good. read of uh, while I was at university. Very good. And it's very short. You can read it in half an hour. Oh. If you're quick. It's like one of those weird books, like the monk who sold his Ferrari or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a literal, it's a thin, thin book. Uh, the monk who sold his Ferrari is bigger. <laughs> I actually read part of it. Um, Art of War. Rich Dad, Poor Dad is one of my books. Who moved, yeah. So I'm going to mention a list of books that really shaped me in self-development, Christian books and financial books. Think and Grow Rich. I didn't even put Think and Grow Rich on. The reason I didn't put on is everyone's going to scream Freemasonry. Oh, yeah, yeah really that's... Uh, because uh, obviously Freemasonry. it is to a degree and but I never knew it when you read it, but the guy wasn't Freemasonry. He didn't... He studied, the laws on... Yes. Yeah. He studied it. He studied the Freemasonry. He studied the Some Freemasonry. Some of these guys are reading good books. The Heavenly Man, that's a good book. Heavenly Man was a good book. Actually, that was also one of the books that really... It was more of a testimony book. Yes. But it's like, yeah. But that is a... That's a good book. Good, mo good Morning Holy Spirit. Um, uh, seven biblical principles for your business. Uh, anointed by us. Oh, anointed by you. Your book, anointed. Autobiography of a yogi, Parama Yoga. Pigs in the I parlor. wouldn't. Pigs in the Pole is also very good. I wouldn't recommend any yoga books. Look, guys, I want to make it clear. When I speak about meditation, I'm not speaking of yoga. Yo, shish. When, and when I speak about meditation, I'm not speaking about New Age meditation where you empty your mind. Meditation in a Christian way is to fill your mind with a word. Yes. And then you can have a contemplative, which is a stillness of prayer. Very important. There's a difference between wait, uh, sorry, emptying your mind and stillness. Okay, so meditation. What is a good meditation? What's bad meditation? What's Christian meditation? What is New Age meditation? New Age meditation will tell you to really center yourself to uh, obviously centering is not a bad word grounding is not a bad word but it will say that you have to empty yourself it'll connect to the chakras it'll connect to kundalini and uh, you know uh, and then it'll connect to the third eye when I speak about spiritual eyes I speak about spiritual eyes not third eye yes. huge big difference yes, yes. when I speak about meditation I speak about Christian meditation where you meditate upon the word and you meditate upon the stillness the contemplative prayer what yes. we call the contemplative prayer. So meditation is broke up into. So then new age meditation is what we call, you know, emptying your mind, uh, fixing on the kundalini, uh, yoga movements, yeah. which is finding its roots and its, uh, its um, what do you call it? Its, 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 its roots, origin, yeah. origin in Eastern Buddhist mm. type of, yeah. uh, type of culture and religion. So, Christian meditation is two different things. I mean, it's totally different. So when a Christian believer speaks of meditation, we are not in any way endorsing yoga. 
We are actually speaking about what the Bible says, meditate upon his word day and night. Meditate upon his law day and night. And then where the Bible says that Isaac went out into the fields to meditate, that's it. Yes. So that's speaking of a contemplative prayer where be still and know that I am God. So Christian meditation is filling your mind with the word and becoming still before God, waiting on God and being contemplative. Uh, new age and, 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 and occultic meditation and yoga meditation is emptying your mind, connecting to your chakras, centering yourself, and which is connected to the kundalini. Hope this makes sense yes. and clarifies it. Definitely. That people don't come and nonsense take me out of, out of, <laughs> out of context. A lot of yeah. people are posting books here. Uh, also God's Generals. So a good one. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot about it. God's. I spoke to Robert Liadon the other day. Oh wow. Yeah. Um. Uh, what is it? Oh yeah. Who moved my cheese? Is a brilliant book. Liz is saying, "Woman, thou art loosed" by T.D. Jakes. Um. Sandra Bennett, the Ragamuffin Gospel. Never heard of that. One? I heard about. I've that, heard of that, but I never really read it. It's a name that doesn't intrigue me, in any way. Might be a good book. But a title needs to intrigue me. Who moved my cheese? A lot of people saying who moved my cheese. I, I remember reading that book. It's very good. Purpose Driven Life. Fourth Dimension. I forgot about Fourth Dimension also. Mm. Yon Kichau. That yeah. was one of the books that yes. shifted me. I mean, it is the most basic yeah. explanation of the Fourth Dimension, which we will go 100 times deeper and better in our next part of Angelology, which most probably will be next week, I think. Yeah. Maybe, maybe next week. Yeah, maybe next week. So, um, how to raise your own salary? That's also a good. How book. to raise your own but salary? Yeah, yeah. It's a very good. It's good, but they also will gain new age. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, in no way am I practice endorsing new age movements. Although you can't get a profit without a profit being mystical. This is actually a good exercise because now you get all these David, references David, from David, people. David Moss saying the spiritual man. David, no, you didn't finish that book. No, yeah. David, didn't, David didn't finish that book. <laughs> you know, that, finish that was actually when, when you told me. Final Quest was a book that really shook me. I remember Final Quest. Rick Joyner made waves with that book. There's a book by Rick Joyner called The Fire That Never Dies. That was one of the best books I ever read about the Azusa Street Revival. Very good. Actually, another Reinhard Bonnke. His, have you read his um, autobiography? Um, I no. have it, but I haven't read it. His, his one is actually good. The Bait really of Satan. Good. Yeah, it's better said and it's okay. This I mean, it's good, but it wasn't good. a life-changing yeah. book yeah. for me. Yeah. Spiritual I'm going to speak about life-changing books tonight and just uh, give you guys my titles for a life-changing. Sp spiritual Man was a book like that. You gave me still Spiritual Man. I still have that book that you gave me. That was the first book that I ever read spiritually. But I didn't read it then. I read it later. <laughs> I started it then. Yeah. I started it like six times. Everyone starts their book six times. Then. You start that book much more than you finish that book. <laughs> Tony Evans is a good author. We'll also speak about some good authors. That was also uh, tonight. Uh, Andre saying "Healing the Sick" by T.L. Osborne. Healing That's sick also one of the good. best books ever for healing. Healing the Sick is very good. Um, the Cross and the Switchblade is also a good book. Yeah, it's but okay. it's not. It's like you say, it's not life changing like that. Yeah. it's a testimony book. It's a test. It's a great testimony. Is Simon Sinek okay to read? I mean, I don't guys, know what Simon Sinek is. What Simon? Sinek? He's good. Yes, he does, he's a, um, he, start with wow. Yeah, he's, like he's a motivational speaker. speaker. He um he does TED talks and stuff. He, I've read I've read some of his stuff. Unseen Realm is one of my books. Sure. Unseen Realm is one of my books. Secrets of the Secret Place. Bob Sorch is not one of my books on my list, but I do have that book. I enjoyed it. Secrets um, of the Prophetic by Kim Clement is also very good. Yeah, Kim Clement's book was good. A book, a book that was good. the fire that could not die. That's what I said. Yeah. God chases also, but that's Twelve also Rules for Life I have on, which I'm going to get into right now. That's for some uh, people that want to make sound bits out of us. <laughs> yeah. No, I think Jordan Peterson is good. I don't think he's saved. No. Okay. There's, there's another movement of Christianity right now that is rising up in America, for example, that's around um, like Ben Shapiro. Yes. 
Jordan Peterson and he's got like this council of people that know the word but don't know Jesus. Yes, that's right. Very simple. So yeah. Jordan Peterson is great. I love him. I listen to him a lot because he has more sense than most Christians. But um, he's not he's not saved. I don't believe he's saved. Uh, let's see if you agree or disagree on it. This is not a derogatory statement against him. I think he's brilliant. I think he's more intelligent. I believe he has a greater heart than most Christians and ministers I know. Um, uh, he, he, he has more common sense, but I don't believe he encountered Jesus Christ to the point of salvation. Yeah. I think it is still an intellectual way for him. Yeah, because so he worked that's out he the word that's in an intellectual way and then reasoned that that should be the way. Yes. Culturally. So he speaks about the culture of the Bible, what the belief system of, of Christianity. And if he has to encounter Christ, he will accept him immediately because of that, because he has reasoned. You know, but he has to have a real encounter. But I like him though. Have you seen Have you seen that series that he's got, uh, Exodus? No, uh, I, I've Jordan. seen it, but I haven't watched it. But the I, panel, I also haven't watched. I Jordan mean, it's, it's, isn't it on Daily Wire, and yes. you have to pay like a lot of money? No, it's I not a lot of money. It's just that free. I have all the subscriptions, so I deleted Daily Wire. You have to have like a, we have to have obviously a VPN to 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 have it. Yeah, um, I think it's on. It is Daily on Daily Wire. Wire. Yeah. Pigs um, in the pot. Oh yeah, we spoke about that. A lot of good suggestions. No one's saying my one. I, I had the uh, A.W. Tozer, Pursuit of God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's tough, Lloyd. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I feel, feel that way. A.W. Tozer is okay, but I think he's too much of a reformer. Yes. Isn't he a reformer? I think so. Not, not, or A. W. Tozer. Either that or it was mere Christianity. But mere Christianity by C. S. Lewis. That's a good but book. But the one chapter where they talk about like we can't even. Jordan Callis saying Jordan Peterson is saved. I don't think he's saved. I don't know. He intellectually understands and believe. He intellectually believes in Jesus Christ. That's exactly what. I, that's the thing is he speaks about it from a like phys- philosophical intellectual. Um, belief system mindset where and he's trying to adapt his life to the standards and the principles of the Bible but it's different to being saved it's, it's a Abby. very apolo- like a, um, I want to say apologetic because it's like an intellectual it's a weird worldly movement that is coming up in America that is like for that celebrity right winged salva- it's like a right wing salvation yeah it's like they believe in God as he's good he, like, like you know because it's the right thing to obviously do obviously the conservatives and the right mixes and you have to have God on the yeah. right side. Yeah. So it's the right thing to do. So they come to the conclusion that it's right, but I do not believe he is saved, filled with the spirit. No, he's not. No, there's not even a question. He's, he's not. So. Um, and Mepifu's got a good one. Uh, authority of the believer. But I do think his conscience has been book. pricked a lot. Yes. Mm. But sorry, yeah. The authority of the believer. Kenneth Hagen. That's a good book. Mepifu said that one. Okay. Um, so, so he's kind of like a Pharisee. They're saying, I, I don't know. No, he's like not like a Pharisee like because he's not attacking the Christians. Yeah, he's not like attacking. He's not a Pharisee at all. I don't think you can put him in that category. No. There's a new. I don't know if people understand what I'm saying, but it's like it's a new. It's a new religion. It's or it's it's obviously a false. It's like you have a new age Jesus, but this is like. It's weird. It's like a right-winged gospel. But I think I think that intellectual because um, you have this patriotic church in America. Yeah, but I think the intellectual side of it is where New Age comes from because it, it's like you get this enlightenment and this like wokeness, but it starts but off as like Christ. intellectual. It's not salvation. Like this is the right way to go, and then you go and make it spiritual, but in a weird way with this like. Enlightenment that we are all. Uh, Jordan Christ Peterson expla- simply came to the conclusion through intellectualism. Yes. That Jesus died on the cross, the resurrection is real. He believes all of that, yeah. but in an intellectual way. Yes. I do not believe the man is saved. I do believe he's very close. Like, like it's almost like the rich man that. Yes. The rich young ruler that so wanted to follow Christ, but he couldn't because of that one aspect. Don't drop the mic. To that's saying, a very that's good, a very book, good yeah. book. Didn't change my life. Though maybe I didn't read it in the right time. That's a very good book, though. The Unseen Realm, Michael Heiser, is also a very good book. Yeah, I have that on. Animal Farm. That's actually a good book, eh? Animal Farm. What, George, George Orwell? George Orwell. George Orwell. 1984. Yeah, Animal but that's, that's, that's all, that. all George Orwell is hectic. Yes. 
You are living in George Orwell time. Wait, can I tell? Th- can I tell you this? This is something that's like maybe a bit off topic, but there's a YouTube channel that's called Vision 2020, and it's literally predicted every celebrity death. Mm. It has not missed one, and you. It looks almost like it's a tribute video of the person until you check the date it was posted. Every video was posted before the the sure. the person died, and every video includes the date that they died. It's like the most hectic so thing next? ever. <laughs> oh, should we check? <laughs> but um, sorry, I just thought of that now. I don't know why. Judging when, why, and how is also very good by Derek okay. Prince. It was, I mean, it was good, very good. I loved Derek Prince. A, a book it wasn't life changing, but a, it was good. A book that changed my life, and you'll know why, is um, How Can These Things Be by Bill Hammond. <laughs> it's a. Oh, yeah, yeah, that one. That's that. Matthew 721. Yes, it was a. A season, seasonal book. Let's see. Okay, let me see. Everyone wants to see now vision. A few people are saying Glory of God. By Maldonado. Of Maldonado. Yeah. It was a good one. At the time, it was a good one. Was the Glory of It was, it was, the, it was supernatural, the Supernatural and the Glory the of God. The Supernatural one was the one that was first for me. The glory that was supernatural one really shook me. It's not on my list. Though. I wanted to put it on. Maybe I'll put it on. Uh, what, what is it called? Supernatural? The supernatural power of God. The supernatural yeah, power the supernatural of God. Power. That one really shifted. But it's because I was also... Connecting to him connecting at the same time. Timing, met yeah. him at the time, so... Have you done a teaching on the New Age Jesus? No, but I've spoken about it. I've spoken about it. Someone said, yeah, you are not guilty. Creflo Dollar. I haven't heard that one. I don't know. Creflo must first repent. Sellers we'll repent. <laughs> Don't come out with nonsense revelation. Prophets arise, John Eckhart. Um, book, Bishop Tud- books of Bishop Tudor Bismarck. Price of God's miracle working power. Awesome. So. Uh, let me let me tell you the books that I that I that I have. Jordan M keeps on saying the luxury strategy. I don't know luxury strategy. I also haven't heard of that. So, obviously, the first book on my list is the Bible. So let's not get religious. Let's leave that one out because you know, after the list, people will say, "You haven't even mentioned the Bible." I saw someone already comment that now the Bible is the best. A lot of people can. are saying in the Word. Of course, the Bible I have here. But our, the Bible is not a book. We are speaking now about books written by men, not inspired of God. Um, so, one of the... And this is not in order, these books. I want to make this clear. This is not an order. This is not an order. Not in order, but one of the books that really, um, that really, uh, 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 shook me. No, challenge you. You know, gives you a lot of wisdom in relation to business life. The behavior of people is obviously the author Robert Greene. But his book called 48 Laws of Power. Now we had some funny ministers that said that this is my Bible and all this stuff simply because they heard me mention it once. Yeah, oh, no, no, actually, actually because they used it to manipulate people. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, and they knew that I gave it to them. And then they used it to manipulate people. Mm-hmm. And then when uh, they got exposed, then they're like, oh, no, Leon, Leon, it's Leon's Bible. No, it tells you human psychology. So 48 Laws of Power... So Robert Greene, let me just explain this, that Robert Greene is a brilliant behavior, I think he's a behavioral psychologist, or a clinic, no, he's not, uh, Jordan Peterson is a clinical psychologist. But Robert Greene is is close to behavioral psychologist, I think he studied the behavior, the psychology um, of Hollywood, and the famous, and how they would take advantage of people, how they would control, seduce, And what made some to be successful and what made others not to be successful. So he wrote books, for example, 48 Laws of Power. He wrote books called The Mastery. Mastery is brilliant. He wrote a book called uh, 
uh, the 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 uh, um, uh, I think it is 31, 33 strategies of war, which I also read right here. Uh, he's got. Um, what is the other one? Is it called seduction? The, power the of seduction, art of seduction. Art of seduction. Yeah. Which, if you don't have a foundation of the word, if you heart is evil, you will you will misunderstand these books. Yeah. But, for example, the Forty Eight Laws of Power. I mean, d- let me just give you the very first law. I think the first law, without even getting there, is don't outshine your master. I think so. Um. But it gives you very good laws. Mm. It's very practical. Never yeah, outshine your master. Never outshine your master. That's the first law. Yeah. Um, so, you know, these laws and these things can be used to manipulate people, but it can also be used for you not to be manipulated, or it can just be used for you to really find an identity because he studied this is not a man who wrote this to manipulate if you've ever yes. listened to him yes. Yeah. Yes. and please I'm not saying he's a believer or anything like that we're going to get to some believer books also just now I'm just giving you some an inside look on some books that affected me let's get to law 2 it says never put too much trust in friends learn how to use enemies yeah. now it can sound very evil yes Actually very practical but he studied the behavior yes. yeah. of those who use this for evil, those who use this to protect themselves, and the natural human, the animal human nature, let me rather yes. go biblical, yeah. the animal human nature. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, conceal your intentions, always say less than necessary. That's law four, yeah. law five. So much depends on reputation, guard it with your life. I messed up that one. Um, uh, <laughs> there, because the Bible says Jesus said, you know, he, he no laid down his own reputation. No reputation. Yeah. He, became, he, he, he made himself no reputation. So obviously, this is not biblical, but it's, you know, when you get into business, for example, crush your enemy totally, law yes. 15. Yeah. That's, that's a thing that I learned out of pain, of being crushed by my enemies. I learned, unfortunately, oh, you have to crush your enemy. Yeah. I'm speaking in a worldly sense right now. Um, you know, then he has bad things. For example, pose as a friend, work as a spy. Yes. But he's not saying to do this. He's explaining human behavior and he's explaining what he saw, what people are doing yeah. in life. So, I mean, this is, this is a book that really, really... Someone um, is saying, yeah, Adam is saying, yeah, um, he's saying it's one of his favorite authors, but he says it's interesting that the 48 Laws of Power is banned in prisons. Yeah, I've also read that. I also heard about it. Um, I'm not sure if it is true. Maybe some, I know prisons in America each have their own laws. Every prison. That was one of the accusations towards you that you're using a book that's banned in prison as your Bible. <laughs> I, oh, anyway. Yeah. Um, well, you're not anyway, in prison. That's here's my Bible and it has worked for me. That is definitely not inspired, no. but it's a very interesting book and it'll give you some wisdom. So, hey, Adam, good to see you. Adam, Gavin, Chris, I'm good to see you, man. Um, oh, is he was saying it's banned yes, in some prisons. Yeah, it's banned in yes, some prisons. Yes, yes. So, 48 Laws of Power was my number one on the list. Not that it's the best, but it's just the one that I first wrote down. That's all. Number two, 12 Rules of Life of Jordan Peterson, which I, I really loved. Just some practical things. I think there's one or two things in that's a bit like weird, but yeah. really good practical things. Obviously, he's a clinical psychologist. Um, maybe behavioral, I'm not exactly sure, but clinical. Um, 12 Rules of Life, I really enjoyed that. I'm speaking of a practical thing. Then the third book, which is not top, I would say if I have anything with top from one, this would probably be number one. The first book that ever changed, like the first book I read that changed my life, the first book was Good Morning, Holy Spirit. Yeah. By Benny Hinn. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, you know. Definitely. (laughs) Yeah, that was a very good book. Good Morning, Holy Spirit by Benny Hinn. I think you also gave me that book. I gave a lot of people that book. You gave, you, yes. you gave me that book and you gave me Spiritual Man. And you said, these are the two books you must read. <laughs> so after Good Morning Holy Spirit, I read Spiritual Man. So it was the second book I read, but that's number four on my list. He is Spiritual Man by Watch Bunny. Uh, if you want to get a good foundation of the spirit, soul, body, fleshly, I mean, and everything. Yeah, the carnal Christian, between, the f- uh, fleshly Christian. It is Spiritual Man. He never believed in praying in tongues. Yeah. But he also got people saved with his eyes, so. 
but uh, um, you know, then the fifth book that I and, and this is not on um, not on uh, in order, but one I really enjoyed that shifted my mindset was Alien Encounters by Chuck Missler. Yes. Because it was the first Christian that began to speak about the realities of alien encounters yes. and put it in a book form like that. Yeah. And, and, and what's nice about him is he always presents the options. So he, can, he will say, like with the Alien Encounters book, I remember he says that it can be spiritual beings, it can be physical beings, it can be... So, he, he gives you the options. He says, this is how they present themselves. Mm. Um, you know, it, and then he shows you scripture that kind of and makes he, you... But he also goes into, into case studies. Yes. And, uh, yeah. you know... So, after that is Mike Murdoch's Law of Recognition. Now, Mike Murdoch is one of my favorite authors of when it comes to Christian authors. But he has a book called Law of Recognition. Which yes. It gives you the ability or teaches you to, to, to discern different graces, to recognize the differences in people and know how to honor it and appreciate it. A lot of people judge the differences and he explains how we should be looking for the differences. The law of, differ law of recognition. And when you fail to recognize the difference in others, you fail to grow into another, into another realm because God can bring a breakthrough in a person. Yeah. And if you fail to recognize the grace that they operate in, you will never have it. You will never have it because you yeah. can never, you, you know. Um, he, he also says you attract what you recognize. Yeah, you attract what you honor, you attract what you recognize. And that which you judge will judge you. Yeah. The mantle you judge will judge you. Yeah. And what you fail to recognize, you lose. What you fail to recognize, you lose. So, so, so that is book number five or somewhere there. The next book is Unseen Realm by Michael Heiser. Michael Heiser just passed away. He was one of my favorite apologists when it comes to, and theologians slash apologist when it comes to um, the Nephilim, pre Adamic, full yes. angels, Unseen Realm. Yeah. You know, the supernatural. Obviously, he's got many books, but I loved Unseen Realm. Um, really, really good book. Uh, one after that is Elijah Task by John and Paula Sanford. Yes, that's good. Uh, one of the prophetic books and obviously Bill Hammond, but I haven't put him on the, on the list in terms of his books. But, but uh, Elijah Task was really a powerful book that shifted me in the prophetic to teach me a lot of principles. Um, then the book after that, a financial book, Money Master the Game by Tony Robbins. Yes. So... Money Master the Game by Tony Robbins. It just really, it, it, it's, it's one of those books that's, it's really only, a lot of the information is really beneficial only for American citizens. Yeah. And America's a cancelled word apparently now, but anyway. America? Um, yeah. Is it cancelled? Yeah. But it's the name of the country. The word. <laughs> yeah. Check it on YouTube. How do you cancel? How do you cancel a country? So how do we refer to them? I don't know. Please, please, can the American people please tell us how we can no, it's refer a to you? Word. It was on Fox News yesterday. If you are not American anymore. So after Money, Master the Game of Tony Robbins. And I don't believe in Tony Robbins as, okay, he thinks it's just a good book regard. He goes into everything, in, especially when it comes to policies and stocks and how it works and why certain things pay out, why certain things don't pay out. It's just really good. It's more related to America, but because things have become international, it's, it's really a good book, that one. Then obviously Rich Dad, Poor Dad shifted my whole, mm. my whole paradigm, yeah. my whole mindset of um, finances. Rich Dad, Poor Dad was the first financial book I read and it opened me to that should be a financial foundation. For yeah, that's a financial yeah, foundation. Yeah, it's very foundational. Although we know... It's, mm, he's, yeah, he's, <laughs> let me not uh, mention still, it on here. But still. But, still <laughs> that, but that's what I was thinking about now. It still did what it did to you. He was exposed yeah. out because that it's not true. Okay, but... <laughs> it still opened you up. It still opened yes, me up. Yes. And, and, and also... You don't you, have to do it to teach. And yeah. if, <laughs> if you read it now, it's, it's maybe a smaller book, but it, at basic. the time... 
But yeah. at the time, at the it, time it, it was. Open look, your and if eyes. your person whose eyes are not opened in the financial world, that'll be good for you. That's the first yeah. book yes. that I'll be like. You, you first need to read this because you're yeah. still on baby levels. Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. Okay, so the, my first Christian book would be Good Morning Holy Spirit, and then Spiritual Man. My first financial book was Reached Out Buddha. Um, Ma, uh, Myra is asking, what was the name of the book? Elijah. It's Elijah, Elijah Task, Task by John and Paula Stanford. Elijah Task by John and Paula Stanford, yeah. Uh, then, <laughs> um, Rick Godwin Exposing Witchcraft in the Church. Yes, very good book. I loved it very much. Then after that is... God Chases by Tommy, by Tommy Tenney. Tenney. Yeah, that very good book. book. Man, hmm? that was a good like book. that was like Good Morning Holy Spirit almost. Yes, but 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 I just discovered a, it later. But that put a fire. Yeah, that, that was like, that. that, that was you read that fire. and you get you get stirred you get up. On fire. Yeah, Tommy <laughs> Tenney makes you on fire at the time. I don't know if it's going to have the same effect again. Yes. Today. Yeah, that's the other thing I was thinking of. Like now, at the time. all of these books we read long ago. So, uh, yeah, Rich Dad Poor was by Robert Kiyosaki. The um. You said uh, Rick Godwin now, so that uh, exposing witchcraft, exposing in witch, witchcraft in the church. Another book by him. Before I knew um, so much of uh, um, Miles Monroe, was a book by him, "Live Full, Die Empty." It was a very good book by Rick Godwin. Do we still have that series, uh, Witchcraft in the Church? It was excellent. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, we still have excellent. the series. Yeah, I got it from his book. Some of the things. Sandy's saying, like the, the, what, what does witchcraft mean? Meaning to, to make somebody do something they don't want to do. That, yes. You know, but yes. I'm not going to preach on that right now. S yeah? Sandy is saying, what was the witchcraft? It's Witchcraft in the Church by uh, Rick Godwin. Rick Godwin. Rick Godwin. Very the ebook is available of that one. But not yeah, other very ones. good book. I think it's on Kindle. Yeah, it is. But none of his other ones. Okay. Exposing Witchcraft in the Church, yeah. So I really like that, that book. Book. Um, it tells you how there's more witches in the church than outside of the church, or the witches in the church is more dangerous mm. than witches outside of the church. No witch outside can do anything to you. If a witch outside of the church can do something to you, you are a weak Christian. Yeah. Actually, this one that Ellie put here, uh, A Voice in the Night, Surprise, Surprise the Toilet, that's a good book. Yeah, yeah. it's quite good. Yeah, I, I, I read it, it was okay. That that exposing witchcraft. Heavenly man is good. Though. Yeah, exposing Heavenly witchcraft in the church. That was a I was accused of being the witchcraft in the church <laughs> when I preached once. <laughs> you you're exactly like the book by Rick Godwin, exposing witchcraft in the church. <laughs> I read Asher Voice in the Night. Surprise! It was a powerful testimony. Yeah. But a heavenly man was a book that shook yes, me also. Yes. yes. You feel so worthless after reading that. <laughs> <book>. Yes, <laughs> it's true. And these are just just some just some basic books that I, I read many books, many 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 books. books these, yeah. Why um, does he do that? Hey, why does he do that? Um, by Le by Lundy Bancroft. Oh, uh, helps one understand narcissistic abuse. I think I think narcissistic abuse is. Fake. Brother Lawrence Practicing the Presence. That's also a good book. Brother Lawrence. You know, it, was it was okay. It was a small book. So old school. The, um, um, I think narcissism is fake. It's just a made up thing to... To justify. To remove masculinity. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not saying if you are the victim of... Because please, now everybody's going to be triggered. To yeah, toxic all I'm, narcissism. All, all I'm saying is They're that... Call uh, you, a you know, please. it didn't exist 10 years ago. <laughs> it's just, it's one of those things that they bring in to remove masculinity. Who said something, you know... It obviously, Jordan ben Peterson is very Shapiro big on that. said that as well. But oh, I don't know what he... But I mean, uh, uh, Jordan Peterson speaks about masculinity, obviously. Yeah. But they say that if your masculinity is removed, then your testosterone is dropped. Yes. When your testosterone is dropped, you cannot, I don't want to get into new age, right? And sound new. I don't, let me say that. I don't want to sound new age. Let me just try to change my wording. The whole earth, every, the universe, as in what was created by God, not the God of the universe, but the universe. And we see, oh, let me just go like this. From Genesis, we see sound, light, yes. Image, vibration, frequency, and energy. 
But you don't see light before sound. You see sound before first light, and yeah. then light. Yes. Because they discovered the sound creates light. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So sound creates light. So whatever you listen to has the ability to create light and whatever you speak has the ability to create light. But they said that, look, hmm, I need to, I, I have my teaching on it ready for, for the partner. So I'm just trying to get back to it. Uh, uh, uh. So they say this, and I, this is for our partners, by the way, that your, you, your atoms, and you, you're my, obviously made up out of atoms. Yeah. I don't know if you're made up out of protons. Well, there's, yeah, the, you made out of, but oh, sorry, there's, uh, there's uh, um, ma photons. There's matter. You're not made of, of photons. No, photons is light. Is yeah, light yeah, yeah. particles. Your your atoms and but the protons and uh, you know it's it's not touching. Yeah. In fact, if it has to be touching, you will be the side. The whole human, all the humans on the earth, can fit into a one centimeter. Yeah, it's something crazy. One centimeter atoms. cubic. Yeah. It, if all of the atoms are solid and touching, uh, if the space in between the atoms are removed, yes, sure. then they can all fit into one centimeter cube. Yeah, so, so we're actually more made up of the space in between. Now you see yeah. how Jesus in his glorified body could walk through a wall or could walk on water. He broke yes, because he had the ability to change the atomical. The, yeah. density and the nature. So now you can see why people today can still walk through a wall. Yeah. And you see in CIA documents how they've actually experimented. And there was a time when they experimented with psychedelics and, and when they experimented yeah. with... Um, with LSD uh, and all of those things. LSD and obviously, you know, all that nonsense of remote viewing and so on. But uh, they tried to experiment with it. I, I don't know Ultra. what date it was. Uh, it was that MK Ultra. Yeah, that was their uh, brainwashing so, thing. But what they did discover, I mean, what they know, obviously, you know, goat steering and all that nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, that there was people who changed their density through certain practices of meditation, silence, and it increased the amount of light that they, that they sure. exuberated from their bodies, like it would be picked up the amount of light and energy that they would have. Sure. And even the foods that you would eat. Yes. So, people, that's why when you go on a Daniel's fast, you feel like you have a lot of light in you. Yeah. Yes. Because plants needs light Photosynthesis. releases yes. photosynthesis. Yes. Yes. Animals don't. So if you go, for example, let's say just carnivore or just meat, yeah. it's different to being on a Daniel's fast. Yes. Sure. Where you present light. Sure. Anyway. <laughs> it's too much for this one. I'm going to <laughs> get uh, deep into that on our partners with a dimensionality teaching of the next part of angelology. But uh, that is why certain people can see angels and others don't. When angels come two ways, angels come when they have a message from the throne of God and it comes uh, sovereignly and anybody who, who they are sent to will see them whether that person is in sin, whether they are not spiritual. But then there's another realm of angels where they can just be present and you can see them. That determines on your level of light. Sure. So they say that this whole masculinity movement is brought in by obviously the New World Order and etc. and the yes. whole agenda of Satan and the Luciferian agenda uh, and by the Nephilim, so the Nephilim running and etc. and world rulers to dull the minds of people to remove masculinity, to remove testosterone, that they cannot encounter God and be who they are supposed to be. Yeah. Because you can only... Now, that is what people in New Age, they want to reach this place of enlightenment without Christ. Yeah. So, when it gets to the third eye, the eye of your understanding and the spiritual eye is different things, but it's the same thing. For example, a lot of people we have to do deliverance on his third eye is opened because it was opened in an occultic manner, an occultic way, yeah. without Christ. Yes. And then the terminology was used third eye. But getting to a spiritual eye, we could get into our spiritual body when it comes to scripture, the spiritual senses, but the eye of our understanding. And then you have the ability to see where, right from Genesis to Revelation, 
put eyes off on your eyes to anoint it. I'll allow you to see where you can see by the power of the Holy Spirit, but it is your spiritual eyes. When the Holy Spirit comes in you, makes you, re- regenerates you. Yes. Your spirit. Um, makes your spirit alive that was once dead. It gives you the ability now to see. And this is now your spiritual eyes that is opened. It is the same way as a third eye that is opened. It is just that Satan perverts, he can never create. Yes. So Satan perverts meditation, he doesn't create meditation. Yes. Satan perverts the spiritual eye by making it the third eye, opening it another way, he doesn't create it. Satan perverts uh, 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 everything. What other yeah. miracles was there? Um, Oh, well, the, the whole... I'm trying to think of... Uh, Janice and Jambres. Uh, medi- and I'm thinking of meditation. Like, you know, I'm thinking of things that he perverts that is scriptural. Crystals. He perverts crystals. Yeah. People say crystals is demonic. Where is crystals demonic? Then the, the F- my watch that has 28 crystals in is demonic. Yeah, of course. It's yeah. the way that it's been used. It's not... Cr- it, crystals can't be demonic. Yeah. It's the way it is used yeah, is the what about the effort? Like If I yeah. put my <laughs> faith in that and I want that, then it's the... Dem- so I understand with deliverance movement that's going around, sometimes they make a mistake and they say crystals is demonic. What they mean is that if you have crystals in your house, in your life for the purpose of healing, for the purpose of... Yes whatever, cleansing, frequency, hearing, whatever, I don't know, whatever they use Buying crystals the for. At markets. You know, uh, that is demonic. Yeah, like, yeah, like the uh, dream catchers and hippie stuff. Like the gypsy no, no, dream catcher is demonic. Yeah, whether yeah, it's no. used for the yeah, writing yeah. or... Yeah, yeah. But I'm speaking <laughs> but of like the natu- they, they sell that stuff. I'm like speaking the of the natural, people, yes. the natural source. Ground cannot be demonic. Crystals cannot be mnemonic. Yeah, because you God buy created your them. wife a wedding ring with a diamond with the, in it. Yeah, it's a stone. It's a stone. It's a stone. But it is what we do. So when, with the deliverance movement that is really going around, incense is not demonic. Yeah. What do they do in the temple? They used incense. It's the prayer of, but don't use it yeah. to reach God. Yes. Don't use it to set an atmosphere and say, now the presence of God is here. That's what, I yeah. mean, that's what Hindus do. They're that's like, idolatry. That's demonic. Yeah. I hope this makes sense. Yes. It's the same as what do you think of salt rocks and salt caves? I don't know. I eat salt. I love salt. <laughs> um, I but eat my meat on salt rocks. Yeah, a salt rock is nice to cook but, your meat on. But it's it's also like what you said last time with, when we spoke about dry needling versus acupuncture. Mm. So you, you But then I didn't have a full conclusive uh but uh, but I uh, thought on that because Vlad made a post of Vlad made a very good argument that where somebody uh, I didn't watch this video. Yeah. So I mean, I don't have that knowledge. Yeah. But he made a good argument saying that it's origins. Yes. But crystals' origins is not demonic. But the origins is natural. Yeah. I understand something like dry oh, needling and, and, and so Liz on. Liz is saying that because people use that a lot for healing. The same with sitting in salt caves. Oh, I, I wouldn't. You see, I wouldn't know that. So okay. remember, to 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 one who is not <laughs> sin is not a sin to. Yeah. What does the scripture say? Anything that is not, that is of faith is not sin. See, like now bon- Bonita is asking, is sage bad? Yeah, that, this is the okay. thing. Therapist uses it okay. to, to now, get let me explain. smell out of her office. No, let me explain. Sage obviously can't be bad, but I understand why they are going off on sage. Because 99.9% of people that's buying sage is for the purpose of yes. cleansing. Yes. yes. <laughs> so that's why we say sage cleansing. is demonic. But we don't mean the plant is demonic. It can't be. So God created it. <laughs> but it's just that yummy. sage has gone to such a place, almost like wheat. Yes. Wheat is yes. actually almost less than because there's some medicinal purposes to it, you know, yeah. but, uh, um, or marijuana or whatever. But but uh, sage, it's like, it's so demon- it's, it's, it's so predominantly used mm. yeah, it's re- for cleansing yeah. that... That's why every deliverance minister is saying, listen, sage is demonic. What they mean is just because everybody, nobody's going to have sage for another purpose of clean, than cleansing. Well, you cook with sage. Or maybe you cook, I, I don't <laughs> you know. You cook with sage. Chef, I, I, chef let's leave the cooking. Let's, let's say for burning. <laughs> yes, yes. Nobody's no, going to no have, other reason. nobody's going to have sage for burning. There's no other reason. With no other re- reason except cleansing. You yeah. See, so That's why we say it's the demonic. The only time I use sage is when I bake my turkey. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So um, I hope that makes clear, and you, we can put a clip of that on and, and put this on. You, you said, Prophet, the, the I think it's the scripture you were talking about. 
the whatever is not from faith is sin. Mm-hmm. Whatever is not of faith, but no, what to whom doesn't know it is it's sin. Uh, what is that saying? Oh, it's, which is scriptural. It's just not a scripture. But it, to whom it is not sin, it's not sin. Or to whom does not know it is sin, it's not sin. Yeah, but it's based on the same scripture, I think, because it's Romans fourteen. It's based on the context. Yeah, it's, yeah. yeah. it's, Roman, it's based on Romans fourteen, which is where that scripture is. What are the signs that you are a prophet? I'm busy putting a book together that will sort out all that stuff. Uh, I think I think that's what happens too much is that everyone takes and it becomes extreme and then gets legalistic about everything because now ev- everyone's asking, is this specific thing now allowed? Yeah, look, you know that's the weakness. So me and Daniel Adams spoke about that. Uh, that's the, the not the weakness. It's the it's the dangerous the danger, side, the trap. Yeah, the trap of uh, let's say the deliverance movement, which is any movement that this pioneered goes into an extreme. Yeah, you know, and then people can same thing with the prophetic. For example, if the prophetic people can. Also, people can just go to a prophet to get a word the whole time. Yes. They want to run their whole life from a word. The same way with deliverance, they want to know if this is demonic, if that is demonic. Yeah. I think same category. It's just that we've long time ago throw prophets under the bus. And, uh, yes, you know, right, yeah. it's like, either, you know, prophets, people mustn't come to prophets for a word for this and that. Well, same thing with deliverance, meaning people shouldn't Ask is it is it evil to have the Mont Blanc uh, uh, thing? Yeah, because mind? it's got five pins. It looks five like a pin, pentagram. Uh, no, like no, no, five it's the e- mountain. It, it's the mountain Mont Blanc. You know. Yeah, so, just like relax. So, uh, <laughs> but but I'm just saying. So we've gone through that, and because there's a explosion of deliverance, people can get a bit overexcited, passionate, and they can want to know what is right or wrong in their house. But it can move over to legalism if we don't understand grace. Yeah, grace. God is not a robot. God is not a legalistic God. Yeah. God is a God of grace. There's grace. Trust me. There's grace. Grace isn't a license to sin, but grace is it's, grace is a variety of things. Grace is a measure. Grace is also obviously forgiveness, but grace is a measure. Grace is favor. If you really go into the Greek explanation, grace is favor. Yeah. And then, unmerited favor. Yes, and that's then, right. But grace, somebody, so I'm not going to mention the name, said something very good, which many people won't agree with, but and the, even if they hear who said it, but they said grace is the balance between God, not a God exposing something, but yet covering it and not exposing it. Sure. So you can sometimes see a minister fall into sin and they're not exposed yet because grace on them, God covers. Yes. He exposes it internally, exposes it for that person to be saved, but he covers it from the outside. That's grace. It's grace. Uh, I, think, I think the whole issue of grace is something that people will never fully, well, the, it'll always be an issue of society because Paul wrote about it in Romans 6 and 7 and 8. And I, it's like, it's those same words are still appropriate today because I think people have this idea that they must be able to say that's fair and that's not fair. Mm-hmm. That 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 that's the problem is that you worse than me because that justifies me somehow and 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 they don't understand what that grace has nothing to do with you. And there's Unmerited. obviously common things, face value things that is like demonic. It's like a pentagram. Sure. It's like a dream catcher. Yeah. It's like. You know, listen, that's demonic. You can't have a Buddha statue in your house. You can't have, you know, that is demonic. Yeah, um, the monkey god statues of Hindu. The Etienne so. says, like that video that went around, Mark your high school. My mom threw out all oh, the yeah, that guy. heroes. I was 12. Yeah, but, but clean your house. Uh, but the, it's a video going around South Africa, clean your house, and everybody yeah. just went crazy. Yeah. You know, but they had no relationship with God, but they were cleaning their houses. Yeah. Yeah. No, they were not even safe, but they were cleaning their houses. But it's also something that happens. That money. You know, when, when the whole world was looking for Illuminati, you know, the handshakes and triangles everywhere and yeah, symbols. I have that somewhere. Yeah. They no, said that yeah. I've got the Freemasons. Yeah, the, the handshakes, and, you know, you shake your hand. And, and it got to such an extreme that there were so many memes made where jokes. it's like, yeah. yeah, you see like this perfect like triangle with the eye in it and everything and then they zoom in and it's like they highlight this other triangle in there and say oh there's the illuminati sign so, so this is not a teaching on demonic stuff i'm just bringing a balance to speak of like i was just mentioning crystals and mentioning uh somebody asked about sage but i was just mentioning crystals to say crystals is not demonic yeah 
But if people have certain crystals uh, for, you know, I mean, and if people have sage for anything except for cooking, it's most probably demonic yep. in the house. But it doesn't make that thing demonic. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Like, Sage is like, not demonic. It's like gun, yeah. Now, obviously, what you know, all the shootings in America. Now, they're saying there's 100 shootings a month. What nonsense. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, uh, they did say it on Fox. They said 100 shootings a month. Wow. That's or, crazy. Or something like that. Uh, it's nonsense. So they're doing that to obviously bring gun, gun control in. Yes. So now with this obviously sad thing with, with the Christian school that happened, but, oh, it's so nice because it's automatic rifles and he was given this ARs. You know, he was uh, he was purchasing them f- so easily, and now let's ban the gun because the gun is evil. The gun cannot be evil. The person holding the gun yes. is evil. The gun is a tool. What does, what does Alex Jones say? Then the pole is evil. Yeah, because you know, <laughs> or the iron rod is evil. Yeah, because you can beat somebody with an iron rod. So the iron rod is evil. Yeah, come on. Even your fist can the be. Gun evil. is not evil. Watch the screenshot. Watch the, uh, Watch them screenshot me and say it's Illuminati. Yeah, let me just, there you go. You're putting your hands there like that. There's the Illuminati symbol. I don't think it's wise to quote Alex Jones though. (laughs) I know what what he said. Well, 90% of his stuff. Oh, 90, 90%. 90%. 90%. But the 10% bad. 90% 90% of his stuff came true. Everybody laughed at him, mocked at him, was proven right. Even the frog stunning guy. Yeah, the frogs turning gay in the water, that was something else. But <laughs> it's, it's true. true. It was true. But um what, about what we listened to, the bees talking to each other. Eh? Oh, yeah, no, Flip. <laughs> we were listening to Joe Rogan in the car on the way out. It was, he was talking but you about were actually, you the were bees. talking about the, the, the vibrations and the sound. It's the same thing that you were talking about. So I'm just speaking of, if you, if you, after you so the whole universe is work on vibration, sound, frequency. Yeah. Um, but even when God spoke, it was the word first, yes. then light came. Audi- yeah, yeah. But now it's proven scientifically that sound was before, comes before light, yeah. and sound creates light. That l- any that- light bulb. So even so, it's also proven that thoughts is matter, solid matter. Sure. Your thoughts. And I preached on it as well. So yeah, your th- thoughts, yeah, yeah, they, yeah. I mean, neuro, they, the neuro they pick yeah. it up, Pro- your neural waves. It. Yeah. It's, yes. It's, yes, it's, yes, 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 yes. It's matter. It processes yeah. exactly the same as a physical thing. Yeah, it creates, yeah. It creates it's energy. It's created, yeah. Which creates, and it moves. which is matter. Energy yeah. is matter. It's yeah. solid matter. Yeah, it's solid. So thoughts are solid matter because in the spiritual realm, your thoughts is, is as, as real. It's real, yeah. See, someone else if you is commit mentioning adultery in your heart. In the car, the RAS test. Oh yeah. Spe- when you speak, have you heard about the rice test? So they have you cook you cook three jars of ra- of you cook rice. You put it in three different jars, and then you speak nicely to the one, and then you speak ugly to the other, and you ignore the other. And they say that the one that you speak nicely to doesn't get moldy, and the one that you actually oh, yeah, speak so the same as the plants. To, same as the plants. Yeah, yeah. I just didn't know they did it with the rice. Yeah. Okay. And the, and the one that you speak ugly to actually begins to get moldy and and ugly. Um, yeah, what I was I was also tell, uh, speaking to Lloyd about a video that I watched about the sound and creation, and, and I'm sure everyone has seen those uh, experiments where they put like a plate and then they put like sand or salt yeah, or yeah, something, with the, with the, and then the when the they change the frequency, frequency, it changes the patterns. Yeah. But then they they showed aerial footage of like mountain ranges, and they make up similar patterns yes. of the same frequencies, yes, yes, yes. which. Kind and of like obviously, you get the frequency of the Earth. We get yes. the frequency of planetary. You get the frequent. You have the God, and obviously the the Rockefeller frequency thing that changed yeah. the frequency, the frequency from, two, of four, four, yeah. from four forty four thirty two to four forty. Yes. So they changed it. So the four thirty two. What four thirty two does is it immediately connects you, like puts you in the same resonance. resonance so frequency. you do know that Nikola Tesla. Yeah, four three did two. I, did I did I experiment, experiment on it? Yeah, of creating a machine in a in a and that's what I'm going to get important. Create in a building block. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw. And it. And he put the frequency to exactly the same frequency as the building that it vibrates, and releases a frequency the same as what the building releases. And the and moment he resonate. did it, the building exploded. That it was that the, the thing was in. Yeah. And it created an earthquake in that section, and he had to turn it off. People thought it was an earthquake. Yeah. That is how powerful frequency Ooh. can just touch it. If it and resonates, it, yeah. If yeah. it resonates. It, it destroys it completely. So obviously that's where they come with the, with your um, with uh, frequency treating for 
for uh, um, uh, for, for for body healing that it has the, because then they went deeper and I can't remember the guy's name but that they released a frequency to obviously kill certain sicknesses uh, okay. in your bodies which yeah. if they can resonate with the exact same thing it can kill it yeah you know? because so because everything resonates yeah resonates and everything releases a certain sound is and that what that Reiki does no 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 no, no, no. Reiki, no, Reiki works on else. energy yeah energy outside so. New Age and Reiki teaches you that you are energy. And energy is a force and God is energy. No, God is not an energy. Yeah, God is an entity, he's a source. He is much more than that, but uh, he's not an energy and you are not an energy, you are an entity. Yes. We have energy, which is the energy from heaven. And if I want to get technical, we have two energies. We have the energy of sin and death and we have the energy of the law of the spirit of life yes. in the book of Romans, which is called the law of sin and death and the law of of, of uh, law of sin and death and the law of the spirit of life. Yes. So you have an energy that pulls you towards the earth, towards sinning. There's something that pulls you into one because sin creates an energy. And then you have the energy of heaven, which is energeo. It's in the Greek. It works the, yeah. uh, the dunamis power of God. Yes. It's the energy of God. But new age, so now when we speak energy, everybody just screams new age. No, no, no. We're not speaking about the new age energy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's some, they make up some, and, and they most probably work on frequencies and vibrations. You're right, but they just consume. And obviously that energy converts into demons for them and it's yeah. open doors yes, and, yes. you know, all that but it, stuff. But it's again, it's based on a truth that's and there. And demons are also not energy. Yeah. But the energy that they're feeling, they think it's energy. But it's demons. But en- demons are not energy. Demons are entities. Yes, they're anyway. disembodied. Yes. Um, I, I, we were talking about the frequencies and, and creation and stuff. Um, it it comes back to the that there's creation in f- in frequencies. That they, that you s- when creation happened, it was at the sound that when God spoke, and I think that's the but new so, age. So, so His word keeps also the atoms together. Exactly. So. You know, and there's scripture for that. So they say if you can have a frequency or you can have the ability to to be at a certain... That's why you have breath... It's documented. Not saying it's proof, but they have... Doc, that you have breatharians that would just live off breath, of yes. breathing. Yes, yes. I'm not speaking of breathing practices where they would scream like primal... <laughs> chanting. Chanting stuff. No, no, they, there was actually breatharians and... and uh, uh, but anyway, that is that is something the, for something, and and they're just proving that what we see with a person which we think is solid is not solid, and us touching this table is never touching this table. Yeah, it's never touching this you, table. There's there's less contact that of you touching it than there is actually of you touching it. Yeah, there's more space empty that's yeah than you actually touching it, and and it's the same thing that happens with the tuning fork. So if you come into this room with a tuning fork. And they're the same frequencies. If you vibrate one, the other will start vibrating because yes. they resonate. And, yes, and, yeah. and that's what the Nikola Tesla experiment was, is yeah. that the, the, they resonated. And then that's how... Uh, they, there's actually weaponry that's developed around yeah. um, frequency blasting. That's, in the bowl, that's maybe in the book of Revelation. Yes, We're with the scorpions. The tank, yes, with the, mm-hmm. with the tail. The, with the, is it the sonar? It's a scorpion. So it's, it describes like a scorpion creature. Yeah, scorpion tail, so but it's, it's speaking a, of that a one. tank that, that pulses. Pulses, pulses yeah. Yeah. That yeah. frequency, yes, sound, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. vibrations out. But I know we shouldn't take the Book of Revelation symbolic. It's just that if it is seen symbolic or not really symbolic, it's just that the prophet might have seen it like that. Yeah, because how do you describe it? You don't describe, you didn't describe it. So the Van Osho is saying that when you tune guitars, you tune it in 440. Yes, because 440 is the fallen frequency. Frequency. Yeah. 432 is the godly frequency, the original frequency. The only thing is they say now that it doesn't sound so good. It, it sounds a little bit flat because we yeah. are used to 440. He, but, uh, but 440 is the standard frequency that was created by the Rockefellers. Yeah. As we know it, uh, it might be... That people and, say it's a and uh, the van also is saying, why is it so common in music? And I, I, I don't. I know that there's a theory of this: is that if it's a fallen frequency, and Lucifer was a a, mini, a worshiping angel, he was the, the the angel of sound and 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 music. That's why if music is so influenced yeah. in such a in such a severe way with the frequencies and these things, because it was his kingdom that he had. Yes. 
So he has it now, and he's the lord of, uh, um, he's the prince of the power of the air. So Victoria's saying, Liz, 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 she says, I enjoy making shadow puppets. I assume that's with your hands, not exactly. But then she says, does one have to elevate the triangle? Now, Victoria, let me just explain something to you. Whenever you speak of triangle and pyramids, if this is in the way that you are speaking about, you are now touching onto new age, occultic, even the main occultic power. So a lot of your yeah. chakras, meditation, new age is based on the triangular powers and the upside the pyramid and the upside down pyramid that works with the energy force in your body and etc. and etc. That's how people open up doors for the occultic. I uh, hope you're not speaking about what you speak of, elevating the triangle. Because... A lot of people in new age, you must remember this, people get saved now. They come out of type of a new age uh, movement, so they still think they that is know. okay. Yes, they don't know. Because this is what I'm experiencing in prayer. I'm also feeling an energy or a vibration. Mm. If that is what she means, sorry. Because I know... It sounds like it. Elevating the triangle. So, you know, that's why people saying that encounter with our little triangles, we are now new age. No, 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 no. You know... We are delivered from this. You have triangular powers and a whole thing that I'll still teach on uh, that is very occultic, by the way. But it's got nothing to do if you just have a normal triangle. But if you speak about elevating the triangle, speaking of your body being in a certain position and uh, all that stuff, we are not any of that. That is new age. If that is what you're speaking about or if that is what you're involved in, I would say that you would need deliverance and that, uh, uh, yeah. You need to close doors if there's open doors in that regard. I'm speaking of um, to make a shadow, a shadow chicken. The triangle makes the beak. What? Okay, but what does that have to do with anything? Yeah, I'm very confused. No, I don't. I don't so, sorry, I, I don't understand. Oh, um, like what? Does she make a triangle sign? Is that what I'm you're saying? Like you make a triangle sign with your hand and you. Yeah. So remember, triangles is not demonic. I'm just, I, I thought when she said she elevates Elevate the, the triangle, triangle, that sounds very... Uh, I know about a statement or, or a practice when you meditate and when you have to get your chakras right and you have the chakras of the light body and the chakras of all this stuff and, uh, you know, that's not my expertise and I don't practice it Yeah, she's all. saying no. But um, then people have a triangle inside of them that they have to center and resonate and it activates occultic powers but uh, you know maybe she's saying instead of oh she misspelled she's not saying elevate she's saying eliminate eliminate but don't but <laughs> don't elevate the triangle <laughs> <laughs> but you don't have to el eliminate it either you it's can do as many part. shadow puppets as you want I don't know I don't think there's a anything shape. huh triangle's a shape <laughs> A lot so of a music triangle is, is not demonic. It's just that when it comes to triangular powers in a person, that is demonic. The Van Oss show is saying a lot of music is inspired by Alistair Crowley. Just look at Led Zeppelin, the Beatles, Jay-Z, all of them. They know exactly what they're doing. It's true. Yeah. Taking away the triangle. Yeah, that's what she's talking about. But w w what does that question have to do with anything or that statement? I think it's to relevant to what I was, because I, I did the whole Illuminati was, triangle yeah, thing. Oh, Maybe okay. that's why. Okay, 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 I understand. So no, don't worry about that. With the shadow puppets, I don't know. Yeah, with the elevate the triangle, that finished me as well. I'm like, I don't know. I used to do yoga. Is this something I would need deliverance from? I'm yes. just learning about just this learning now. About this now. Yes. Uh, well, yeah, it's doors that you need to be closed. Deliverance... That needs to be done. When we say deliverance, that, that legal right is removed. Uh, maybe there's something being cast out. Maybe not. That's doesn't matter. It's beside the point. But that door, that legal door, must be closed through repentance, renou through renunciation, repentance, renunciation, and closing that door. And uh, then understanding why it is wrong and why we shouldn't be doing it. Uh, very important. And, and, you know, yoga isn't that big in South Africa. Yeah. But it is big in America. Cape Town. Uh, I think it's a Cape Yeah, I was going to say Cape it's a Cape Town, Town thing. Yeah, but Cape Town is, 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 is a South African America. Cape, Cape Town, no, Cape, Cape Town is the South African West. It's the liberals. It's, it's the California in South Africa. Yeah, it's, it's the liberals. All the liberals Cape live in Town. one central place. And it has a tall mountain. You said you were going to tell us about your massage experience in a live you never did. Can you tell us, Prophet? Massage experience? I don't know. Are well, they not talking about the dry needling or something? I never had an experience of that. 
A massage experience. A massage oh, experience. Nice. Elaborate and I can... I used to be into belly dancing. What spirits are associated with that? Well, I assume a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously you have to look at the origins. And yeah, it's very know, Eastern. So it's all Eastern stuff. Uh, so... Yes, Kami is saying, yes, you need deliverance from yoga because it's the position your body... Uh, in your body that yeah, not only the you. position it's also the uh the doors have been opened yeah you know but i wouldn't do a lot of people also if yoga is right now i wouldn't do 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 it at all because it's the we, we went into it it's the yeah it's all the positionings that um yes has its origins and forms and shapes of other gods chelsea is saying if there's someone who has to watch uh if there's someone who has to watch my kids a couple of times a month and they have demonic objects in their house. Will it affect my children? Uh, I would, I would, I would, I would need much more information. On I that. assume what that the children are at what, the house. No, what would you? What would you? What would you? Um, define as demonic. Yeah. First of all. Yeah, that's a good point. Because if there's a pentagram, you definitely don't have your kids there. Yeah. But if it, you know, I, I'm just saying, if it is something that, um, I don't know, you know, they have a Versace shirt. Yeah, someone's asking, is the Versace logo demonic? I'm sure the logo is demonic, just like it's many Meth other logos are demonic. It's Methusa. It's Methusa. It's yeah, it's it, yeah I mean, I'm sure like She's many other logos she'll are She'll turn demonic. you to stone. I mean, <laughs> what other clothes, what other stuff do we have? Like I said, you know, we must understand also the victory we have in Christ. Yeah, there's a, we there's must understand that. You must understand your righteousness. Otherwise, you will be too focused on legalistic and what is right and what is not right. Just make sure, and, and a lot of these things is also conscious sake. Yeah. Now, for example, the Holy Spirit spoke to me about Versace and the Medusa head, that I don't like to wear that that specific medusa yeah. I, I don't i don't like that's me you know and it is obviously um i can actually say to people it's demonic i don't think they should but it's become such a fashion and normality but i do believe yeah i do believe it is it is affecting our spirituality um because it's like having satan on yeah it's like it's, having yeah. a head of satan yeah so the holy spirit did convict me on on that because uh, i never knew it was a medusa head in I, the beginning uh, until i actually went and because somebody bought me a belt do, do i have them no i don't have the medusa head belt sorry i've got the lion head belt you must have two no that is a medusa head it's just it's just not as clear it's not as clear head. no there is a lion head there is a lion head. let me just let me just check i think the but one I had one which, I, which i stopped wearing because of that reason and i didn't knew it, know it in the beginning so would i now be demonically possessed or whatever with uh, because i no, i didn't know no you know yeah i just Obedient to the Holy Spirit, and not wearing it. It's Even it's like Gucci's got snakes. Yeah, Gucci's got. Yeah, but a snake is not evil. I know, but I mean, it's still it's, like Gap, it's, it's perceived. No, it's not evil. It's, no, it's Medu Medu to but, but Lord, Medusa is a course, me mythological no, no, course, Greek course, creature. Um, Gabby is saying then Starbucks is also demonic, which is true because Starbucks also has a yes. Medusa logo. Oh, yeah, I do have the Medusa head one. Yeah, no, yeah, that's the same too. one I have as well. So, but but I mean, so, like I said, that's the Holy Spirit actually spoken about it, and I I stopped wearing it. The Starbucks logo is actually worse if you. Th so Starbucks, let's take that for example. I just only heard it today. It's so so Starbucks, never, but it tells you how how desensitized we become. Yeah. But now, does that mean you're never allowed to drink Starbucks? Well, Starbucks no, is not just Medusa because you know how much halal. Food, food that is yeah. that you are eating. You no, eat I'm just a lot. saying we must not be. Real. This is not going to make me stop drinking a Starbucks. This but is it's Romans going 14. to make me stop wearing a Versace belt yeah. because Holy Spirit spoke to me about it. But there are so many demonic things all over. Yeah. yeah, try to be clean. Try to listen to the Holy Spirit. This is exactly what Paul said in Romans 14. Philip Plain has skulls. Is skull demonic? Yeah, you have a skull in your oh, head. A skull demonic. <laughs> you. You know, so, the, so like I said, guys, this is where I would want people to become mature. Don't know if those who are watching can be, because some can be still young Christians, immature Christians, and then mature Christians. But the Starbucks is a classic version. The, Star, the Starbucks siren, if you look at this, if you look at the original logos, it's like a, a lady, like a she's like holding yeah. her legs open. Like a, oh, yeah, I, as I a siren, this. and she, and, yes. and now you're, no, it's bad. 
<laughs> and they even the oh, that is bad. Bad, yeah. so drink Seattle coffee don't drink <laughs> <laughs> or drink uh, Dunkin Donuts if you're in yeah. America sheesh someone is just like flicking us here why are they swearing at us M- relax Mbote, Albert just calm down please what are they saying you mother f devil oh wow oh so they're not a Christian yeah goodbye so they must you, be banned you banned um, but you're giving Starbucks money, wouldn't that be supporting it? But what are you supporting? You're supporting a coffee company, not a siren. Yeah, look, it, guys, it's fruitless for us to get involved in that conversation right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's really fruitless. Um, this is where we become legalistic and we lose the focus point, which is Christ. Yes. And that's the danger of becoming legalistic, that the focus point is no longer the Christ and the Great Commission. Yeah. Because you can have everything right and no anointing. You can have every little symbol out of your life and have no presence of God, no relationship with God. And then you start going back to law. Then people start not eating pork anymore. Yeah, you don't yeah. go to law. Now you, <laughs> no more bacon. Pork, no more bacon, <laughs> this, wearing cotton, tattoos, big one. Yeah. Big one, you know. Now tattoos are evil. Yeah, now, the, But even wearing cotton, I mean, come on. Then, uh, well, then what? Everyone's doing the same thing. No, no, I'm just saying then you have to judge yourself being yeah, no, wearing exactly. cotton because that's also in the law, you know? So if you want to judge one part of the law, judge the whole law. Um, but that is how quickly legalism, and Paul com- uh, instructs us in the book of Colossians not to be caught up with legalism. In fact, he goes so deep to say, he says, do not touch, do not taste, do not handle. Yes. N- don't, do not even get close to what? Legalism. Yes. So... I will be preaching on grace soon or do a series on grace so that people can understand how grace sets a person free. Fabiola also says exactly what you're saying. Then we must stop saying the days of the week. Yeah, Yeah. like I said, yeah, of course. (laughs) So, guys, we are in this world, but we are not of this world. We have victory over this world. We trample over serpents and scorpions. And you don't have to be afraid. That's what I'm saying. There's a difference between being in the environment of something. What if you now work for Versace? You, you understand? Yeah, exa- exactly. So there's a difference of being in an environment of something, being surrounded by it, and another thing of being influenced by it yes. and worshipping it, submitting to it. Crystal is saying, saying so, um, so are tattoos okay or not? Because I've heard people getting delivered from getting tattoos. How people you- get delivered from getting tattoos. I don't know. Maybe the kinds of tattoos. It's again, you, you can, can get a no, demonic no, no, no. There's no tattoos. There's no scripture against tattoos. Yeah, there's actually two scriptures where you... There's s- no scripture against tattoos. Yes, but maybe what she's saying is, you know, like some people get like demonic stuff tattooed on them. Yeah, of course. That's just stupidity. Yeah, if you get a, <laughs> if you get a pentagram tattooed Guys, on you, then... there's not one scripture against a tattoo. Yeah. Quote me one. That I says c- you're not allowed to get tattoos. The, the, the Bible says that Jesus has your... Or God has your name in, your, yeah. in his hand. Tattooed in his hand, actually, one translation says. Two, two scriptures tattooed. Inscribes, tattoo, inscribes yeah. and then obviously... No, one translation actually says tattooed. Yes. Tattooed. Um, inscribed means to cut in. Yeah, and then, and then also Jesus on his thigh. It's was a, ta- a tattoo. Yeah, there's a tattoo in Revelation. But there's no scripture yeah. that says you're not allowed to get a tattoo just for the sake of getting a tattoo. No scripture. Yeah, but again, it's like if you get the a pentagram. only scripture <laughs> against it is that you're not allowed to get it in worship of other gods. Yes. The book of Leviticus. Leviticus, yeah. Cut you so. That was because they were tattooing the gods onto them. Yes. And they were using it as rituals. worship. Yeah. They were using rituals. rituals. Yeah. And <laughs> it's like it's like the prophets of Baal and Mon Carmel. They were cutting themselves. It's, it's that. that's it's like that's an, a, they would cut themselves and cut it's inscriptions in their body. That's what Leviticus is talking about. Don't do that. Yeah. So I hope that makes sense. Jenna saying tattoos like, and then a Chinese symbol, this means dragon in Chinese. I would not want this on my skin. Yes. Then don't yeah, put course. that on your skin. Don't put that because obviously any dragon Chinese tattoo is relative to the to a to a um, Eastern god and to a dragon god. On nose so rings. Just, just common sense. Body piercings. Yeah. yeah, so we can get, people can get legalistic in that and, you know, I, I just don't. I choose not to. The big lesson in all of this is let the Holy Spirit lead you. Yeah. Um, it's, it's literally just read Romans 14 you'll be fine it's your conscience and your conscience is relative to knowledge yes knowledge Liz is saying I love dragons I didn't know they were evil 
Mm. I have dragons on my game chair. Yo, I'm not gonna get into dragons. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm not. Uh, uh, we can get scriptural. There will be a big. The beast is a dragon mm. coming out Earth, of three heads. The ocean. That is yeah. why the ocean is the domain of the enemy. Have you seen the 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 clips of what's under the Euphrates? What they found? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I, I saw something. They found there. jail cells under the the rivers drying up, and they found jail cells. And then people went into the into like the caves where the cells yeah, these jail the cells are. They can hear them. To be in the prison. They can hear. They hear like chains, and there's audio recording. It's hectic. Yeah, but remember that whole Russian thing. What what is that? When yeah. they drilled into the in Siberia. Skull. The Siberia. The, yeah. the yeah, but we don't know you if can that hear is the true. Screams. Well, yeah. I mean, you can hear these chains and these like groanings and stuff, and the audio coming from these caves. I don't know; it's just interesting. You can find it on YouTube. Yeah. That's good because I want to cover my eye of horrors tattoo. De- Yo, that is. Yeah, you see, so now we. N- do, that's but that's not tattoos. That's demonic stuff. So that's just stupidity. <laughs> whoever you are. Well, maybe she got it when she was. Yeah, I'm oh, sorry. Sure I thought you said they want to. Get, they want no, no, no. To, they want. They she want wants to, to cover covers. it up. She wants okay. to cover it oh, up. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I thought you said you want to get a. a no, 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 no. She wants to cover it up. I'm like, that's just stupidity. So, but anyway, guys, we just wanted to talk about the books, and uh, uh, then we got on this subject. Nothing serious. Nothing. Just um, to give you some advice on not to get too legalistic where to fix your relationship with God, and you become you overemphasize legalism. Instead, you know, so many people tr- f- overemphasize legalism and they don't even have a prayer life. Yeah. They don't have a relationship with God. They don't carry his presence and they don't even love people. But they want to make sure that they're not wearing Versace. Yeah. Uh, but they don't pray. So it doesn't matter. You can wear as much Versace as you want, it's, you know. Uh, um and that's what I wanted to actually do the podcast on, which we're not going to do it. It's just to, that people don't get, you know, people must get back to a prayer life. That's what we're doing. We're doing a month of watching and praying. Um, somebody said, can I get, somebody said that they can get um, demons from reading the book of Enoch. You can get demons from reading the Bible. Do you know that? Yeah. Sheesh. Or you can get demons from reading this Bible. That's a very, don't make this snippet of this clip, but uh, <laughs> you can, you can um, get demons from reading this Bible because you, don't you have doctrines of demons? Yeah, what is that? Yeah. Okay. Where do those come from? Doctrine. Doctrine. Where does the doctrine come from? It's, it's like, from here. <laughs> it's like when, when, when. Where do the Pharisees get their doctrines? From here. Because it's. it's interpreted wrong. Mm-hmm. It's when 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 the Bible says, "Had the rulers of this age known, they would not have crucified Jesus." But then they also equated to Satan. So, if if who crucified Jesus was it the religious people or was it the devil that was in the religious people who had those those doctrines, like you say, that's hectic, and they practiced the law. They studied the yeah. New Test, the Old Testament. So they thought they were reading the Word, but they were never reading it. They try to so so many people think they're reading this Bible, but they're not reading it, because God's word is not this Bible. We'll leave it there. <laughs> God's word is not the Bible, but I'll leave it there because that will get too much for people. <laughs> you have the Logos, the Graphi, yeah, and the Rhema. This is not the Logos; it is yeah. the Graphi. Yes which is a part of God's Logos. You can also say God is not confined to the Bible. Yeah, it's not confined to this. Because this is only a, a part of his Logos, yes. his logical, his logic, his thinking. It's the graphite. Yes. A lot of people are like, oh, the Logos and the Rhema. I also used to preach many years ago because I was limited in my knowledge and I realized, oh, but actually this is not the Logos word. This is the Graphite word. Yeah. Graphite means the written word. Logos means the living word. This is, so you have the living word, which is Jesus. Yes. So this is the Graphite, the written word. Logos is the living word, which is Jesus. Rhema is the spoken word, which is in your mouth. Yes.
Bible says, a curse is anyone who brings a different doctrine. Are they saying I'm bringing a different doctrine? I, I don't know if they're saying you're cursed. I don't understand that, that comment. I'm bringing no different doctrine. I'm telling you exactly. You just, uh, Keep your uh, eyes on Jesus. No, uh, isn't he talking about where they say you must follow the apostles' doctrine? Don't listen to <laughs> another doctrine. Follow the apostles' doctrine. I don't, yeah, I don't know. People need to first know what is doctrine. People think doctrine is everything. Uh, I'll get into what doctrine is. Uh, because you have to get into the root word of what is doctrine. But that is another. People, people like to say doctrine is off. Your doctrine is off. You know. Um, so, first time I heard this distinction. Thank you, prophet. Yeah. Graphi, Logos, Rhema. And uh, oh, he's saying not you, just what you, what we're discussing about false mm. doctrines. Mm. Oh, okay. I think there is a lot of um, doctrine is subjective because one person can say I have false doctrine, and I can be like, but you have false doctrine. Yeah, because you don't believe what I believe, I don't believe what you believe. Very simple. Yeah. Like, no, but you must believe. I had how many preachers? Just the other day, I've like big preachers saying, your doctrine is off. Well, your doctrine is off for me. <laughs> <laughs> so who makes what right? Who makes who right? <laughs> My doctrine is off because I'm preaching on the prophetic. That's what they were saying. Um, you know, your doctrine is off because I don't see any prophetic. So it's the same. Yeah. It's the same. It's really subjective. And, you know, to understand doctrine, there is a few things where we see how doctrine was put into place in order in the New Testament. For example, when Paul received the revelation and when it became doctrine. Yeah. He had to go and submit to the apostles. He had to get the handshake. They had to find it in scripture, the revelation that he got. Same thing with Peter. When Peter got the revelation that the salvation is coming to the Gentiles, yeah. Peter had to go to the apostles yes. in Jerusalem. Yeah, in Acts 10. Yeah. And then they had to see it falling on the Gentiles. Yes. So they had to see an experience. He had to go to the apostles. And then they had to find it in the Old Testament. Yeah. So there was three requirements for revelation to become doctrine. Yes. But that is another thing. And, you know, and then when they had the handshake shake of fellowship, they saw the Gentiles receiving. Yes. So they said, but the vision that Peter now had is actually happening. It's coming to pass, yeah. And then they had to find it in the scripture as well. And then realize now it's opening up. We never saw this. Now that becomes a doctrine. That re re revelation becomes a doctrine. Curious to what you follow, what revelation you have. I follow Jesus. Study the word, read the word. But I just said now, very important. You cannot follow this word without following man. Number one. You have to have a fellowship with apostles. You have to be accepted in the body. Um, and then there has to be fruits. There are people, you know, we don't get so many attacks anymore as we used to get, but there were people that were obsessed with us. Yeah. When I say obsessed, physic, I mean, they would be obsessed. Watch every, well, there's still people that watch every little thing. Obsessed. If I'm with them, I'd be scared that they're going to rape me. <laughs> Sleep with me. Because yeah. they're so obsessed. Yeah. Somebody sent me a comment of a man calling me lovey. The second man, the first one that called me that lovey, which love, love, like, like, you know. Like leafy. Yeah. <laughs> don't think I'm speaking of prophet lovey. No. I'm, I'm speaking <laughs> like of the word. Like what David calls as well. Like what, yeah. The word love. Somebody, somebody sent me a, a screenshot of hey that. Lovey. Hey, lovey. The first person that called me that is, is full on demonized and gay and a preacher. 
And then the second one was in this comment. I'm like, this old man is calling me love. I'm like, listen, please do not get <laughs> close to me. <laughs> do not get close to me. Oh, I know who the first one was. <laughs> hey? I know the first one. <laughs> no, no, not that one. Oh, yeah, the, the one in Cape Town. Yeah, yeah, that's yes, what I was yes, thinking. Yes, yes, yes. yes yeah. Yes. There's some ministers that'll make you shudder. <laughs> <laughs> but there Quake. are people that can be so obsessed that they're every thinking, they are obsessed with you. Yeah. So that's at least when you know that, you know, you're stirring some waves. <laughs> you're making some waves. Never care what people say. But you cannot follow God without following a man. Because otherwise you'll be deceived. If you follow a God without following man, you're deceived. If you're serving God without serving man, you're deceived. If you're loving God without loving man, you are deceived. Yeah. But what if you did all the right things in ministry and there was no fruit and it detached from any form of fellowship and you detached from any form of fellowship? Well, that's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah. There's no fruits. You're talking a whole lot of nonsense. There's no, you're detached from the body. From the body, the larger body. Yeah. But you will never be accepted by everyone either. So you have to understand the balance. It's, I don't know if she's trying to ask if you can detach from any form of fellowship or and because it says and it might be can you. well you can't you yeah. have to be in fellowship yeah because in fellowship there's light yes in fellowship there's love and the bible says do not neglect the gathering, gathering of the, the fellowship of the saints yeah if you are living in darkness you cannot fellowship with your brother who is in light Oh, but what if you did all the right things in ministry and there was no fruit? Are you detached from any form of fellowship? Oh, we understand what you're saying. Um, oh, are you? No, there'll be two things. It depends on what fruit you're speaking here. Remember, every tree bears fruit in his season. Yeah. So somebody can be in the body, you know, and it takes three years and then they bear fruit. It takes five years and then they bear fruit. Every fruit, a tree bears fruit in a season. If you try to force that tree to bear fruit before its season, I don't want to work. Yeah. So we need to, you need to really, you just need to be part of the local church and a healthy body. And online church is going to become the new church. I see Bonita saying there. Um, yeah. I, I look, online church or if it's not going to become the new church, it's going to really integrate itself into the body. And God is going to make a way to for that online to actually become physical. Awesome, guys. We spoke a lot tonight. We're getting tired. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting tired. We need to go. That's where they're out with Prophet Lovey right now. I didn't mention anything. Of, I just said Lovey. Lovey, which is an English, it's just Afrikaans word. Yeah. It just Lifting sounded like his name, and I'm like, people know they, oh. It's like, they babe no, no, no. I'm not saying they called me Prophet Lovey. His name is this, people, call, it's, it's spelled the same as somebody it? that doesn't even know him. They, they, it, it's it's Lovey, like, uh, uh, like love. Like it's, it's like what Lovey. It's a, it's and you a call somebody that you call like your, you call your wife Lovey, for example. Yeah, it's a pet name. It's a, like it's the, a man mustn't call me Lovey. <laughs> it's like, hey, babe. Hey babe, hey darling. Hey, that's what Lloyd calls Melissa. Yeah, babe. Hey, so babe. it was just in, in Afrikaans, so I was sent this this uh, screenshot, and I'm like, no, 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 no. You know. <laughs> because one thing, I, 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 I just don't, I don't read comments. I think Joe Reagan also said it. He said, yeah. every celebrity or every person, no, not celebrity, because uh, uh, otherwise people say, we say preachers, no, everybody that has influence, that has a public life. Yeah. They must not read comments. Never. I don't even have my Facebook. I've got a Facebook page, meaning that I don't see people's others' Facebook. I don't see their Facebook. Yeah, yeah, you can and control who you follow. I don't see yeah. their Facebooks. Yeah. Um, it's a waste of time. In fact, I don't even go onto Facebook. I go on Facebook maybe at night late 
just to check up on something. I really don't spend my time on social media. It's a waste of time. It makes you mentally retarded. Yeah. Um, it 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 brings instant gratification. It slows your thinking down. And uh, uh, so the way, yeah. So so I was called that in that way in a, in an Afrikaans language, which is very derogatory. It's like only Satan talks like that. Yeah, for, and from so my last guy. time I had somebody like that was the devil, uh, you know. And this man tried to hug me, and I'm like, "Leave me alone." <laughs> you try to grope you. <laughs> I, I, were you in the room there or not? Uh-uh. Not. I heard about it. I was in the room. Obviously, I was not alone with this man. There were some other preachers <laughs> there, but it was. And the preacher is still preaching, full on gay. Is one of those hugs where they drop the backhand. I don't know. It was just <laughs> he whispered in my ear. <laughs> he whispered in proposition. <laughs> what did he whisper? So, love, so it says that lovey is like dear. Yes. Yes, yeah, like dear. Yes. Yes. I love you, dear. So, so it's like that, almost in the translation. If I have to put it, is huh? Someone is asking: Is Prophet Lovey false? So this is not about Prophet Lovi. Sure it just guys. happened that his name had to be what well, I was called there in an, uh, another language. Uh, no, I don't think it's false. I think he's a. <laughs> I think he's a great prophet. I do not. People don't know what false prophet is. Yeah, let's leave it like that. A false prophet leads you to serve other gods. Yes. A false prophet is not one who deceives you. Yeah. A false teacher is one who deceives you. Yes, that's right. A false teacher is one who deceives you. Yeah. A false prophet is one who leads you to serve another god. A false prophet doesn't even mean that the prophecies don't prophet come true. A false prophet is a Joseph Smith. Yeah. Yes. It's... Jim Jones. J Jim Jones. Yeah. It's the, the somebody, you know, that's like Mormonism, all that stuff. Uh, the, who's that guy from... Latter-day Saints. Waco, Waco, the Texas... But so, yeah, his also name is David. David something. So, people that call all these prophets false prophets, and they don't even do anything for God. I mean, come on. But also, people they think a false prophet is someone whose prophecies don't come to pass. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, they they call just call anything false prophet. They don't even know what a prophet is. Yeah, oh, that's a false prophet. No, uh, you are false. You don't know anything. You're a false. You need follower. to go read Genesis or the just the book of you're Mark, Matthew. <laughs> You're a false Christian. Yeah, you're a false, so, <laughs> false so brother. People need to stop calling people false prophets because they don't understand the scripture when it comes to false prophets. Um, a false prophets leads you to serve other gods and false prophets are not safe to begin with. So, so we need to get through to what is a prophet, how to yeah. understand the basics of prophets, what are the signs of prophets, how to bring a prophecy to pass. Uh, what are the realms of a prophet? Uh, and we, we're going to be doing that. Yes. Someone said that they, they were whispering sweet nothings in your ear. <laughs> getting, getting a prophecy r incorrect doesn't make one a false prophet. It doesn't. But getting prophecy incorrect consistently makes you a presumed, presumed. prophet. Yes. So there's a difference between a false prophet, a presumed prophet, a immature prophet, yeah. an untrained prophet. Hmm? There's a big difference. Yeah, that's true. It's a difference between a false prophet, immature prophet, presumed prophet, an untrained prophet, a young prophet. A... A inaccurate prophet. You can get that also. If a prophet is not connected to God, yeah, they're going to miss it. But they can still be a true prophet, but they're going to miss it all the time. So you have a lot of different... So people just read scripture and they just see... Um, they just see false prophet. And they think, oh, that's false prophets. They don't even, they're not even Christians, these guys. They, they just scream <laughs> false prophets, false prophets, false prophets. No. Yeah, that's actually true. People say false prophet, they're not even Christian. 
So what do you, what do you, what are you then? So a lot of people that think pe people are false prophets might just be presumed prophets. Sia is saying, what is a presumed prophet? Exactly what it says. Someone who presumes to be a prophet. Yuvani is saying, told my husband we are going to South Africa. We're visiting Encounter. I'm praying and aiming for next year. Oh, wow. So I'm just sitting, but I'm getting tired now. We need to get going. My eyes are burning. Yeah. And... Uh, So many people obsessed with being a prophet. Do they not realize how much they are ostracized? Why are so many people obsessed with being a prophet? Yeah, I don't know who's obsessed with being a prophet. I don't know. She, I think she's saying a lot of people want to be prophets. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't see many people wanting to be prophets. Uh, I see many but people titling... A lot of people titling themselves prophets yes. because... God is raising up that gift. A lot of times we just think somebody's not a prophet and we think heaven must approve what we, or heaven must disapprove because if we disapprove. Yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, you know? Who made you to think how you're going to... People think that prophets can only be the, because the way that they think that prophets should be. Yeah. No, you need to shut up and sit down. They would have dismissed John. Be quiet, relax. Many prophets. God can have a five-year-old prophet. Samuel was five years old. Yeah. And he was a prophet. King, what is King, was it King Josiah? It was seven years or 13 years, or seven years or nine years old. Was it King Josiah? King, King Josiah, yeah. King Josiah. Because a king is... In the blood. Yes. It's lineage. It's by election. Yeah. Yeah. It's not by something you do. Okay, excellent, guys. Thank you so much. Um, we're going to see you Sunday morning, Sunday night. And uh, uh, we'll do a teaching on grace soon so that people can understand. Or maybe a series on grace. Awesome. So that people can understand. God bless you.